Apartment living in Australia is turning a corner. There's a lot of really exciting things happening in this space that weren't happening even just a few years ago. The apartment started its life really catering to a very small segment of the population, mainly one and two bedroom apartments in inner urban locations, walk-ups, all about affordability. There was a lot of demand from investors and offshore buyers, which led to a lot of what we call investor-style stock. Much smaller plates, not a lot of windows, on the pokier side. It was just a building on a parcel which had no connection, probably didn't have a lot of amenity. You know, if you're lucky, you had an undercover lock-up car parking space. Apartment buyers actually really shifted to owner occupiers and we saw developers having to shift the type of stock they supplied to market to really cater to the needs of those owner occupiers. I think over the last couple of decades we've really seen a huge breadth in the number of options out there. It's true there's still small studios and one beds available for those who want them, but there's also large family dwellings. Bigger outdoor spaces, all the things people would expect from a normal established home on a block of land but now available in apartment living. The modern apartment block of today is far better connected with a much higher level of amenity than we've ever seen. And in a lot of people's eyes, a much better option for living. It includes, you know, mixed use, you know, retail, residential, shopping, transport. Facilities like gyms, bars, rooftop pools. It's all walkable, it's connectable, and you know, that's highly attractive to people now. And while you don't have your own piece of dirt in the back garden, you've got your own balcony. You usually have a communal garden you share with your neighbours. So you can live in an apartment, but also live on a green space where you've got room for your kids to ride the bikes or kick and throw. We've often multiple hectares of green space connected to them. In Build to Rent, you're seeing apartments almost verging on hotels with, with the the service you provided by the, by the building managers. That's access to things like dry cleaning services and grocery concierge and other amenities like inbuilt cinemas and rooftop pools and bars. A lot of developers will have apps for their communities where you can book the gym or a yoga class. Community activities, gardens, etc. they're all being provided to really cater to a bunch of different lifestyle choices that can all happen you know, within your own building. Really the sky's the limit uh, in terms of what's available to people interested in apartment living.